Hillary Clinton celebrates her historic win. She's joined on stage at the Brooklyn Navy Yard by her pregnant daughter, Chelsea, and she got a big hug from Bill. The first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee for president of the United States. Bernie Sanders told supporters in California he's not ready to give up the fight. We take our fight for social, economic, racial, and environmental justice to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Donald Trump celebrated his wins at his country club in Westchester County. We're going to do it, folks. He was flanked by wife Melania and daughter Ivanka. Trump sought to calm nerves of fellow Republicans who've been rattled by the latest Trump controversy. I understand the responsibility of carrying the mantle, and I will never, ever let you down. Too much work, too many people, blood, sweat, and tears. Last night's speech was one of the rare times that Trump used a teleprompter. Reading from a teleprompter, as it was obvious, is not something that Donald Trump's comfortable with. It's a hard skill. It was almost as if he was like a circus lion who'd been tranquilized because he had bit too many people in the course of this. Trump is facing a revolt in the GOP over his accusations that a federal judge's Mexican heritage disqualifies him from presiding over the Trump University fraud trial. Claiming a person can't do their job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. I think that should be absolutely disavowed. It's absolutely unacceptable. He's had a very, very bad week leading up to this evening. He did well tonight. But there's still many lost days, and one speech is not going to recover them. Senator Mark Kirk of Illinois became the first Republican to take back his endorsement. Too uh, racist and bigoted for the party of Lincoln for me. But Trump is moving ahead, even teasing an upcoming attack on the Clintons. And we're going to be discussing all of the things that have taken place with the Clintons. I think you're going to find it very informative and very, very interesting. <laughs>